everyone, my name is Gab Megan and I'm from Authors Press. Today is April 16th, 2024. Welcome to another fantastic virtual interview where I am gathered here today with Jeff Shade, the author of Soul Songs, Poems by Sh Jeff Shade. Hi Jeff, can you tell us about yourself? Uh, well, uh, I'm from the Midwest. Um, I was a musician for years and I always wrote poems. Um, I majored in philosophy and English, and uh, I was a musician. There was always music in my house, you know, like country music and jazz music. We always had music. There's music on both sides of my family, a lot of musicians there. So that's what I did for a long time, but I was always writing poems, too. Without spoiling, can you tell us about your book, Soul Songs, Poems by Jeff Shade? Uh, yeah, it's a, a book about the cycle of birth and death and ultimate liberation, um, which I got from my study of meditation, at which I was uh, studying for uh, a lot of the time that I was writing the book. So it kind of came out in the book, what that what I was doing. Um, so a cycle, a cycle of birth and death, ultimate liberation. Um, it's, it's really about my journey through life. And uh, it's composed of uh, individual poems that stand on their own, but it also tells a story as a whole. Wonderful. Thank you. What inspired you to embark on the journey of creating Soul Songs Poems by Jeff Shade? Well, I was taking a break from my music career, and uh, I read a book of poems by Rambeau that was uh, organized into sections uh, and the book called them Seasons after Rambo's uh, poem, A Season in Hell. So it was like uh, organized into these chapters called Seasons. And I thought that was pretty cool. I, I liked that way that was done. And, uh, and I just decided, oh, you know, I wasn't doing anything else. So I just decided to write a book of poems on my own. So I just started working on it. I had no particular idea about what form it would take or what it, what it would be about, if anything. But, uh, you know, like I said, I was studying meditation a lot for much of the time I was writing it. So a lot of that came out, I think, in the book. So, Thank you. Can you share a bit about your background in poetry and music and how it influenced the creation of this collection? Well, like I was saying, I played music for years and I always wrote poems and my my poems were influenced by both music and poetry. Uh, in poetry, um, Eliot, Dickinson, Rambo, Wordsworth and others. And in music, John Lennon, Bob Dylan, Paul Simon and others. So it was influenced by both poetry and music. That's beautiful. The thematic sections in your book covered a wide range of topics related to the human experience. How did you approach organizing these poems into cohesive sections? Well, it wasn't really premeditated, uh, although it was probably influenced by the Rambo book I was talking about. Um, and after a while, uh, I was writing poems and they sort of started dividing themselves into sections. You know, I didn't really plan it that way. And um, so whenever I'd write another poem, I just put it in whatever section it seemed to fit in the best. And some of them many could, could have probably gone into more than one section, but I kind of put it in the one that it seemed to fit into the best. And uh, it just, and, and gradually the larger theme, like what I was saying, the kind of, you know, Buddhist kind of theme of the cycle of birth and death and liberation and all that just kind of sort of developed out of all that. So it wasn't really planned. It just kind of turned out that way. That's amazing. Your book includes both lyric verses and free verse poetry. What draws you to these different styles and how do you decide which style to use for each poem? Well, I use whichever one seems to fit you know, for like a uh, particular concentrated kind of subject like nature, like uh, in the bird song, which is a poem in the book that kind of seems to lend itself to lyric poems because of the intensity of it. 
and it's just an observation of something. So that would tend to turn into a lyric, much shorter lyric poem, you know, with meter and rhyme and, and all that. And if it's a more philosophical or involved theme, I would usually, it would usually end up coming out in free verse. Wonderful. The essay included in Soul Songs delves into the nature of poetry and its connections with music. Can you elaborate on how you see these connections shaping the overall experience of your collection? Well, when I was in graduate school, uh, getting a master's degree in English, and I took a lot of literary criticism classes and, and literature classes, and uh, they always talked about the modernist shift of a, from a musical model of poetry to a visual model of poetry. And I always thought that poetry was in, inextricably, you know, uh, intertwined with music. There's a musical element in poetry that can't be separated from it, I don't think. And uh, uh, poetry sort of it creates its own music, its own rhythm. And, and, and uh, so uh, all these sort of avant-garde modernist ideas about how poetry was now visual and fragmented, uh, I, I just never agreed with that. And uh, the whole time, you know, all the classes I took, I never really agreed with all that. So I, that, so that's when I wrote that essay. Many of your poems explore deep existential themes. How do you approach tackling such profound subjects in your poetry? Well, I've always been a philosopher and I've always just kind of seen things that way. I mean, I always look at the big picture and uh, it isn't always intentional. Uh, for example, the, the poem Judgment of the Crows, I just wrote about some crows that were living in a tree outside of our house and they would make a huge racket every morning and every evening. And so I just wrote a poem about that. And somehow it turned into it turned out to be about the judgment day. And, and I, you know, it just happened that way. You know, it, it wasn't really intentional. I guess it was influenced a lot by the religious studies I was doing at the time. You know, that's why a lot of that stuff came out. There's one called The Solitary Ant, which was just about an ant I saw crawling across the floor. And somehow it turned out to be about Jesus. <laughs> and, and, and it just turned out that way. And I'm not particularly religious. You know, I mean, I believe in all religions. But um, yeah, so it, it not always intentional, but I just have always thought that way. That's very beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What do you hope readers will take away from Soul Songs after reading it? Well, I think that people now, there are people who are ready for something a little different after, you know, all the sort of postmodernist literary theory of the past few decades. And uh, that's all fine. But I think there are people who are kind of ready for something different. So, and then maybe, you know, it's about my life. It's just about life. And I kind of hope that people will be able to apply it or relate to it in their own lives. That's very important to know. Yeah, I think so. Can you share any insights or experiences from your own journey as a poet and musician that have influenced your writing in this collection? Well, the book is actually and really autobiographical taken as a whole in the sense that just about every poem in the book is based on something that actually happened in my life and uh, not all of it pleasant. And um, so most of them are that way, you know, like the, the road section was just about our move from California to Nebraska and everything in that section was just taken from things that happened on that journey. And um, the nature poems, you know, I would just like, I saw some squirrels and it turned into the poem squirrels. I mean, so uh, it all came from my experiences, really the whole book. That's very inspirational. What advice would you give to someone who wants to start writing poetry? I would say don't. <laughs> I mean, because it's not <laughs> always a lot of fun, you know, I mean, and um, but if you feel that you really must write poetry, um, I would say just to write about anything that happens in your life, no matter how small is at work or in your life anywhere, just no matter how small, 
or anything you see, like a tree or a bush or a squirrel or whatever, um, start with that, with like a, just a, anything, and then just, you know, write what you feel and let it come out. Thank you for that very helpful advice. Are you working on another book of poems? And if so, what can readers expect from it? I don't have any plans to write another book. I mean, I've said, I think I said everything I want to say in soul songs. Uh, I don't really write poetry that much anymore. Um, and I think if there were ever an, uh, an, another edition of, of soul songs that came out, uh, I would add, just add to it whatever I have, you know, and just kind of expand it kind of the way Whitman did in Leaves of Grass. He just kind of added poems over the years and it kind of grew. I don't even know if that's going to happen. But no, I don't have any plans to write another book. Amazing. Where can we purchase your book? Um, well, you can get it on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And there are other bookstores online that have it. You can just Google it. Um, the, your local bookstore, wherever you are, might have it, you know, and if they don't, you can always order it. So. Thank you. So you have an option to answer this question or not. We just need to ask this for us to be able to serve our authors in the future. How was your experience working with Authors Press? Oh, it's been great. You know, I mean, uh, my author advisor, Alvi, has been really great, really helpful. You've all been really helpful. And it's been good. Thank you so much for that wonderful feedback. I did one. I was okay. Sorry, go. Uh, I did one. I did wonder if I could show the show my book. Yeah, of course. Sure. I'll be right back. I'll just take one second, okay? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Okay, it's here. It is, folks. Soul Songs by Jeff Shade. Okay, you can uh, get it at Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Google it online. So that, that's it right there. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank That's you. all the, of course. That's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you so much for meeting with me today and discussing your book. It's been very pleasant speaking with you. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to Authors Press by either via email or phone number, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. This has been Jeff Shade and Gab Megan. Thanks for tuning in. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. Thank you very much. You too, same to you.